Hi, my name is Tiffy Starchild for Black Nerd Problems. Last week, we ranked waterbenders from the world of Avatar. Y'all reached out, you let me know what you wanted to see next. And so this week, we're going to rank the Earthbenders. Remember that these are only my opinion, and it's only Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra, not the comic book series. And also, my whole thing is leaving the Avatars off of these lists, because that feels a little bit unbalanced. But it also feels like I would be out my damn mind to do a whole video on Earthbenders and leave out how terrifyingly yoked Kyoshi is. Like, who would do that? Not I. Nay, I shan't bring that misfortune upon my household. And while my intention is to start at the bottom of the list and then work our way up to number one, why? Why? I'm not gonna play no games. We're doing Earthbenders. We already know who number one is, and I'm not going to dishonor her name by making her wait, and that is Toph of the house Beifong. Toph, baby, I'm blind, but you still can't see me, Beifong. Toph, put me in a metal box and you will suck my metal dick, Beifong. Let's run her list. Blind, and she said, don't get it twisted, that is your handicap, not mine. Embarrassing grown niggas in the earth bending ring, disrespectfully. Left home, because fuck the authority that tried to tell her who she could and could not be. Like, who are you, dad? Can we talk about how in the desert, when my sweet baby was being stolen by the sandbenders. Why Toph could not help him, Aang? This child was holding up the entire library from sinking into the sand, thus giving her friends time to escape. Y'all, I can't hold a plank. I, 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 and amongst just like the badass things that she does throughout this series, she invents metal bending, fam. She invented it on the spot. She improvised, and that's what she came up with. It was bigger than that. They were laughing at her, so she did it out of spite. She said, oh, you're calling me weak, bro? Good. We also get the gift of Toph being one of the only characters from the original series returning in Legend of Korra, and I think that's great. An old, happily unhappy hoe that's retired in the woods. I respect it so much. And we will circle back to how dope her daughters are in Legend of Korra, but keep in mind that Toph still said that their metal bending skills were kind of... Mm. Toph Beifong, goddamn legend. So starting on our list at the bottom with the honorable mentions, the canyon guide from Avatar The Last Airbender, he is the one that helped the gang get across the Great Divide and into Ba Sing Se. And there's just something about this like country grandpa in this Asian coded world found him to be delightful. Remember how I mentioned Toph embarrassing grown ass men in the earthbending ring? Wolf the Boulder and the Hippo get honorable mentions because although we only saw them get their asses handed to them, they did fight for the Earth Kingdom in the invasion of the Fire Nation and I don't know, that just seems like some real nigga shit to me. Although, were y'all okay when you found out that The Rock did not voice the boulder? Was I the only one that didn't know that? Now on the list list at number eight, we have Haru from Avatar The Last Airbender. And it wasn't that Haru was like strong or very talented as an earthbender, but everything he knew, he essentially taught himself since his daddy was in prison. And I commend that. Even grew a little goatee later on in the series. Haru, I see you. Number seven is Long Fang, old crusty ass from Avatar The Last Airbender. This was the leader of the Dai Li in the Earth Kingdom. And it's not that they animated him to be crusty. It's just that his actions were so ashy, bro. Like he was skilled or whatever, but just like, like, moisturize, damn. I hate him, you could just look at him and tell he don't brush his tongue. The number six spot goes to King Boomy from Avatar The Last Airbender and if you did not feel something when he and Aang were reunited in Omashu after 100 years? After Aang thought all of his friends were dead? Bro. No wait, stop. No, I'm turning up, the bit's going too far. <laughs> Boomy was a mad genius. He described himself as the most powerful earthbender that they would encounter, and he was a member of the White Lotus. So just elite, super awesome. Boomy is pretty badass. I don't think that number five got enough time in Legend of Korra, but there was a whole lot going on at the time. Y'all remember this man from the Red Lotus? Yeah. He was lava bending, and we ain't ever seen no shit like that before. He does a little bit of earthbending and gets one over on Fire Lord Zuko, which I didn't care for it too much, but ultimately realizes that he can't put the paws on Big Bo and decides to off himself instead. Weak. And that brings us to number four, Bolin from Legend of Korra. I haven't had a crush like this since Max from Goof Troop, since Goliath from Gargoyles. I'm sorry, we know it. I, we just stand a himbo. Like you cute, but you just a little bit dumb. I like that. It's the arms, it's the thighs. It's just so solid. Damn, your girl is thick. I cleans my plate and I would sit every last ounce of this on th Oh damn, I done killed my battery. I don't know if this was what it once was, 
but it is what it is. What was I talking about? Bolin, yes. And all of that that I was saying before is not the point of the video. I know, we, it, yeah, we, mm -hmm. But we know that he was bending the hell up out the earth just like he could bend my back. And although he could not quite grasp metal bending, who cares? I don't care, because he can lava bend. He can bend the lava. Flawless character. Moving into the number three spot. And I realized that my numbers are very off because I've forgotten a whole character. Wow. Do I want her to go before or after these next two? Okay, no, I feel, all right, okay, okay. So number three, in Legend of Korra, Toph's youngest daughter is a whole grown ass woman when we meet her, Suyin Beifong, and she like owns a city? I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. And you know, Sue's whole thing was she was a rebel. She was like, F authority. I just wanna do hood rat shit with my friends. But then she becomes a nice, respectable lady and I really appreciate, I, I respect that character arc for her. A whole metal bending expert even teaches others how to metal bend. And she is responsible for one of the dirtiest, nastiest, raunchiest kills in the series. And that's when she took out the Red Lotus member Pali by metal bending her armor off of her chest and onto Pali's face and then she just combusted herself while her lover watched. You think I was gonna put her any lower on this list? Girl. Now that number two spot goes to Top's eldest daughter, Lin Beifong. And listen, fam, I don't have a mommy kink, but if I did, that is where it would lead me. I, ah. Uh, Chief of police for the majority of the series and it's ACAB. But not that one. Although, from what we know about Toph, Lynn was too quick. She was too sick with her metal bending and that hella advanced two guard praying mantis style earth bending. I said, goddamn, seeing with her feet like her mama. And y'all remember when she was ready to sacrifice herself? So she jumped onto the equalist ship and she used her metal bending to rip that thing apart. I'd risk it all for Lin Beifong. But here's the thing, here's the character that I forgot when I was making this list and it's Kavira. How could I forget her? But it's probably because I hate her so much. It's not that I hate her. I sure don't like her. And that's only because like, I, I, she was she was so disrespectful. Like, oh my God, like the way that, why would you stop, stop, K Kavira. Is she more powerful than the Beifong sisters? I, you know, hmm. The, the three, the three are just are kind of matched for me in that. There is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. She too was just like this beast. Her earth bending, her metal bending. But in the end, all of that just brings us right back around to our number one, the innovator, the original Miss Toffany Michelle Beifong. That was exciting. I am out of breath. But that's it for this list. Let me know what y'all think. Also, there are two disciplines left. Let me know which one you would like to see next. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this black. Black Nerd Problems YouTube channel as well as following Black Nerd Problems across social media. You can also find me and follow me, Tiffy Starchild. Thanks so much fam and I will see you next time.